Hi, I'm here today to teach you how to make a wireless cantenna. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase your wireless signal strength and allow you to take Wi-Fi from a Wi-Fi hotspot that's a lot further away than if you were just using the power of your laptop's wireless card. So we'll start with the materials you need to build it. Um, the first thing you need is a can. And so here we have a can. We've already taken the contents out. Um, you're looking for a can that's pretty long but has a thinner diameter. This might be on the larger end of a diameter, but you want to look for something that's around three to four and a half inches um, wide diameter can, and then something that's at least five inches long. And so that's the can, and once you get it, you just want to take everything out and then um, clean it up so it's ready to use. The second thing we have is, is called a pigtail. And what that does, it's a, just basically a wire that goes from your wireless card to the cantenna. And this type of pigtail is called a RP-SMA pigtail, and that's just referring to the type of connectors on it. And I'll post links in the description where you can get all this, and you can check it out there. The next thing we have is an N-type female chassis connector, and that is going to be mounted inside the can, and then it's going to screw onto this, onto the pigtail. And that's going to catch the wireless in the can and then take it to your laptop. The next thing we have is a piece of copper wire. Um, I'm not sure what gauge this is, I just had it laying around, but you want to make sure it just kind of fits in there nicely because later on we're going to solder it into there. Um, and you just need probably two or three inches of it and we'll cut it down to a shorter length a specific length later on and the last thing we have is a wireless adapter it's a USB wireless adapter and I'll open it up and show you you see it comes with two parts the antenna um, we're not going to use that because what we're doing is using the can as an antenna and it's going to work a lot better than this um, then you have the USB adapter. And so this plugs into your computer and then the other end screws onto the pigtail. Then the pigtail runs to the can. And so that's going to give you your wireless connection. And so that's all the parts you'll need. Next we'll move on to tools and construction. Okay, next we'll move on to the tools you need to build a wireless can tenant. The first thing you're going to need is a drill. Um, any drill will work. Um, corded or cordless, you just need a drill. And you're also going to need um, some drill bits. We need a smaller one to kind of start the hole. And then we're going to need some bigger ones to bore out the hole and make it into a wide enough diameter to make sure the end type connector will fit in there. Then we're going to need, um, we're using two files. Um, one to kind of file the hole out. And then this one's going to go in the hole and file the edges. And those are just to make it a clean, a clean edge. You don't have to have these, but it's going to it's just an extra finishing touch to make it really nice. You're going to need just a regular ruler to measure the diameter can, the length of the can, and to just measure the copper wire and just various things throughout the construction. Um, you'll need a soldering iron and some soldering wire. And that's to solder the copper wire onto the end type connector. You'll need a glue gun to glue the end type connector onto the can. And finally you just need some pliers or some tin snips or something to cut the copper wire to the right length. And then those are the tools you need. Now we'll move on to construction. Okay, so step one, what we're going to do is with our calculations from the link into the description, we're going to measure how far up the can from the bottom our hole should be drilled. Um, we got these measurements from the link in the description and you can check that out. And what you're going to want to do is just measure the, the diameter of your can and the length of your can. And then we're going to plug those into the calculator on the website and that's going to give you the numbers you need to know exactly where to put the hole. And for ours, we got 4.1 centimeters, 
we converted it to centimeters just to make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna mark that whole nail. And mark it right about there. Next we're gonna take our three drill bits and progressively drill our hole until it fits the end type female connector. So we'll start with the small one. Just gonna put it in, then we're gonna drill. Okay, so now we've got the pilot hole and then we'll switch to a larger drill bit and move our way up. Now we're going to go to one size larger. Okay, so now we've got the hole a decent size. I'm just going to move the drill bit in and out and around so we get the hole big enough so the end type female connector will fit in. Okay, now that you've got the hole big enough that this will fit in, we're gonna just file the edges off to make it fit in smooth. We're just trying to get off any burrs that are on there. This will also help the hot glue stick on, stick on better. Okay, now that the can's done, we're gonna solder the copper wire to the um, receiving part of the end type female connector. So we're just going to cut this down to a little bit more manageable size. We'll measure it to the exact size once we have soldered it on there. So we're just going to cut it to around three inches now. And the exact size that um, our piece of copper wire has to be was calculated with the calculator on the link in the description. That's 1.21 inches and that equals 3.07 centimeters. And so we're going to solder that on there to measure that out so it's the exact size. Okay, now um, we're going to solder our piece of copper wire into the gold receiving end of the connector. Okay, after soldering the copper wire into the female connector, we're going to measure 3.07 centimeters for our antenna, and that's, yours may be different, so we're just going to put a little mark on there, and then what we're going to do is cut that to that length, so now it's cut, cut to we'll the right insert length. The female connector with the copper wire on the inside into the can so it's gonna go in and come out out through there so it looks like that on the inside okay and now we're just gonna put a bead of hot glue around there just to secure it in That should do. Then we're gonna let that dry. For the final step, we're just gonna connect our pigtail, just screw it on. Just like that. Then we're gonna connect this, the other end of our pigtail, to our USB wireless adapter. It should just screw on. 
and then you plug that into your computer and it will recognize as an antenna and you should be able to get better Wi-Fi and you can adjust the signal strength by um, changing the direction of the antenna and pointing it either at the um, Wi-Fi hotspot or away and the signal strength will go up and down alright so first we start with our laptop that has a wireless card in it already but it's not very optimal it's only good for short range so when it's connected to a network uh, from a Wi-Fi hotspot then the connection is limited now what we're doing is we're adding the cantana and the cantana is going to boost the signal so the way a cantana works is it's simply an open-end cylindrical waveguide which is a hollow metallic tube used to carry high frequency radio waves the diameter of the can supports waveguide propagation at frequencies of order of couple gigahertz. Most Wi-Fi networks operate at 2.4 gigahertz, and the antenna is optimal for catching waves at that frequency. So the copper wire, when combined with the N-type female connector, has been calculated in conjunction with the diameter of the can with the calculator posted in the description. The calculator takes the diameter of the can and tells us how long the copper wire should be to capture waves closest to 2.4 gigahertz. This captures the Wi-Fi and transmits it through the pigtail and into the laptop, allowing for a better connection. We start with the can and pigtail. The can design works in one direction by accepting and reflecting the wave in a single direction. A wave at 2.4 GHz has a definite size and shape, and what we've done is make a can that captures the wave and position the pigtail at one quarter wavelength so that the Wi-Fi is captured as best as possible. The length of the copper wire is also set at one quarter wavelength. The length of the can should be at least three quarters wavelength so that the wave can accept and reflect accurately. Lastly, the diameter of the can should be half of a wavelength. Also, we do have some legal issues following all of that. The can tenant cannot be used to produce harmful signals and also it must accept any and all interference it receives. We are not responsible for any of your actions.